What's up? My name is Doug, the Bearded Outdoorsman. Welcome to another video. If you enjoy beard product reviews, gear reviews, EDC videos, then you have definitely come to the right channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new product from We The People Holsters. It is an inside the waistband holster mount. It all comes in this package. So, stay tuned to the intro. <music> All right guys, welcome back. So like I said in the beginning, we're gonna be taking a look at the We The People holsters inside the waistband holster mount. That comes in this awesome um, kind of plastic zippered pouch with instructions on the back. There you go. So let's take a look at what's in the bag and uh, we're gonna go mount this in my truck in just a few minutes. So what you get is you get the holster mount. So this is the holster mount. And I didn't bring a holster out here. I've got one in my truck. Um, so we're going to mount it in there. Uh, but your inside the waistband holster clicks in here. You release it with this button. Uh, you've got screw holes. you got all that. It comes with... Let's try to get some of this. Another little installation card. If I can turn it the right way. You've got a little installation card there. And you get really two options on installation. Either, if I can get these out, you get four screws or you get Velcro. This is 3M. I've never seen Velcro like this before. I may have been just living under a, a rock. I don't know. But both pieces of Velcro are kind of the, the prickly side of Velcro. Most Velcro, you know what I mean? Uh, so it's but it's not prickly, it's, it's smooth, and it doesn't feel like Velcro. But you take the two of these, both are exactly the same, the sun's not gonna allow you to see it, maybe. Maybe it will. See, both of these are exactly the same. You take these, you put them together, and then you just push. And I don't know if you can hear that. But I know you can see it. So those are locked. I mean, I'm talking like, I, I can't pull them apart. Um, and then just pull them apart like Velcro. This is what we're going to use to mount it. I can't take myself to putting screws in my truck. Now, if it was an older truck, maybe, but I can't take myself, bring myself to putting screws in my screw holes in my truck. So we're going to use the Velcro. So I, if anything fails with it, I'll be able to come back and let you know, Hey, don't do this, put screws in. Uh, so that's what we're going to do, but you get all all of this you get all that so you get plenty of this um velcro to mount your holster um you get the screws so if you don't mind putting screw holes in you got that as an option which one do i think would be better screws in plastic kind of scare me anyway um not because it's my truck but screws in plastic don't seem like they're gonna hold forever um, because it's plastic but this, if it falls off, whatever, then I can do another option. If the screws wear out while they're out, then I've got to, I'm just, I'm just screwed. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do this option. And um, I think this will be the better option, but we're gonna see, we're gonna get to my truck in just a few minutes. And um, I'm gonna show you how to mount this bad boy. I haven't done it yet. So it's gonna be a learning experience for both of us. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll probably close out the video at the truck. So there you go. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, hey, 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 are you enjoying this video? If you are, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, make sure you do that. All right, guys. So here we are in my truck. Um, what we're going to be using is the full size mount. This is for my Glock 23. Um, as you can see, it does have the claw on there. Sorry, it's shaking. I've got this mounted on my leg. Um, but this is what we're going to be using. And um, take that out. It is empty. I did empty it before doing this video. So don't get don't get me in the comments about blading myself and any of that kind of jazz. Um, it is empty. Um, I can find it. There's my chamber round. 
anyway so we do have the claw on here and i'm gonna show you how to mount this while it does have the claw on it it's not going to be a problem the claw on the on the holster is not going to be a problem it's actually going to be beneficial for you in the long run to snatch it out of this clip throw it in your waistband so i'm gonna move the camera i'm not going to hold it during this whole thing so bear with me on the shakiness um i'm gonna twist this camera around and we're gonna get this thing mounted so all right, so we've got everything laid right here in the seat. We're gonna be using the 3M tape vel Velcro. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and click all this together. Um, so it's all together. Now that's not quite together, but um, even the little pieces, I want all this together. It's gonna make it a lot easier when we go to do our install. So we've got, it looks like we've got two short pieces or sections, so four short pieces, um, and two long pieces. So we have all that. So now we wanna take our clip and we wanna put one up top. Sorry if I go out of screen, I'm not used to working like this. some sticky stuff good gracious all right so I'll pull this off like so and for me I'm just gonna go one across the top like that one across the bottom. Let's see if this one. I don't have any fingernails. So it makes it a little bit difficult. There's that. I think that'll hold. Um yeah. I think that'll hold. I'm not gonna worry about putting the bottom one or the little pieces on over here. I think that will be fine. So now, um, do this without knocking the camera over. All right, so what, I've not installed this before, but what I think need to do, you can see here. So one side is moving, one side is not. So you always want to, and the side that doesn't move is on the side with the plunger. So you want to lock that side in first and then click. And it's not coming out until you push that button and then it comes out. So I think for me, I think I want that on the front. No, I want that on the back. I want that on the back. That way I can just stick it in like that and click. And then to release it, the button will be on my side, not by the gas pedal. That's how I want to do it. So, something else that you need to think about. Don't just take this like this, rip this tape off and stick it somewhere. You need to make sure that your, your gun's gonna fit. You need to make sure that where you put it your handle is not gonna be too far one way or the other. So that's what we're fixing to do. I'm gonna readjust this camera and we're gonna try to do this and get it on camera. So hang tight. All right guys, so now I have already taken the paper part off of my tape. Um, so now I'm ready to apply. So I know and I want to be able to access it from here. Got to get below that little curve. And that looks good. So now, I'm take that off. Hold that down. So now, it is mounted. All I have to do learn that's the that's the hard part it's trying to learn where it all lines up there we go so 
that is not going anywhere. And I have full access to draw it, take it off with one hand, throw it in my pants, get back in the truck. This is the part, like I said, this is the part that takes getting used to, and I almost have to watch it. Barely touching down here on the floor mat, um, but yeah, it's holding good. And so I like the fact that I put this on the back. It gives me one-handed operation. I can click that, pull it off, and then I did take some getting used to. I can do it where I feel it. That's the problem. All right, figured it out. Figured out why I was doing it wrong. Because I'm trying to put it straight down, but you can see this clip is canted. So I've got to go in making sure that my gun is angled. If I try to put it in straight like this, it's not gonna work. I gotta make sure I'm down like this. It clicks in one time. So there you go. All right, so there you go. The other cool thing about this uh, clip or mount is it will hold the, your, your magazine pouches. Um, this works with any make model um, gun that you have, as long as you have a We The People holster. Um, inside the waistband, it'll work. And I use the 23. Normally that's what I carry in my truck, but I use the 23 because it's the biggest one I have. So that tells me that my uh, 27 will fit my smaller pew pews will fit perfectly fine as long as this one fits so i don't have any problems with that so far i like it it did take some getting used to learning that you have to put it on at a cant you can't put it on trying to go straight and flat you got to put it on the cant and it works fine so it did took me some a minute or two if you wanted to get two of them then you could definitely have one to mount your uh magazine carrier um beside it somewhere else on the door something like that price on this mount will run you 49.95 however um at the time of filming this we the people was having a sale on it so you can go check that out and see what the going rate is i will have a uh, link to it in the description below you can get over to we the people and check it out um, if my link in the description just takes you to we the people look at new items go through there and you'll find it they actually have a whole kit you can get for i can't remember the price but just the mount will run you about 50 bucks um, unless you catch it on sale. Uh, we the People has tons of sales, so you can go check those out. Now, if you like the claw on there, um, at the end of this video, I have two cards. At the end of the video, one will be a review of the claw. The other one will be how to install the claw. So get over there and check those two videos out if you're interested. And I think that's all we've got for today. Hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of review slash how to. Uh, go check out We The People Holsters, and until next time, stay bearded, get outdoors, and God bless.